Hey everybody, Mona Wisdom here. It is 4.11 a.m. Saturday, December 29th. We just introduced Legendary Lightcore Grim Creeper. Uh, seems like a pretty cool character. Again, we should be seeing uh, Standard Grim Creeper here pretty soon in Wave 3. That said, uh, we've already introduced Legendary Free Ranger, Legendary Night Shift. This was just Legendary... Uh, Lightcore Grim Creeper. So my thoughts are, let's go ahead and knock out the last legendary. However, uh, leading up to the anticipation of that, we're going to go ahead and do Zulu first. So I'm going to come in here while on the pause menu, pull Legendary Lightcore Grim Creeper, and we will stick Zulu on the portal. I can't remember if I've used him in the game or not. We'll find out right here. So uh, let's back out of here. Pretty cool you can actually switch the characters on the pod, that was a shit. Okay, he's obviously been, he's done a little bit, because uh, he's got 24 coins, might have been battle mode, I'm not sure. Uh, he's, he's almost like a boomer type personality, I think. But, uh, what was I saying prior to that? I don't even know. Anyway, uh, Zulu, again, he's just kind of funny to look at here. He's got the uh, really amped up, excited uh, vibe. Okay, I did not do that. I've, You know, that's something I might start paying attention to, is just letting the characters sit idle. That was his little happy dance with the cheesy, overly ecstatic grin there, but uh, that crazy little specter thing he did with the staff was something I was not expecting there. Uh, that said, Zulu was available at launch. Uh, he also, of course, has the legendary uh, form. Of course, here in the U.S., that is a Toys R Us exclusive. But uh, he seems like a pretty unique character. Again, you get quite a bit of that with the uh, life element characters. Uh, he's yet to do that uh, deal again. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what he does here. He's fairly agile for a big guy. That's what he's going to look like jumping around. You get a good feel for that. Uh, let's go ahead and set up his primary attack. He's 17s. He's throwing a bird there. Uh, note they kind of fly off. Jeez, he's just, I didn't expect him to be kind of like that quick tempo with him. Let's see what his second attack is. Oh, that's the wolf. Oh, I'm going that shit. Five, six, and seven. Okay, so I counted seven. You know, if you count the sheep, though, it might have been eight. Let me uh, send one out at this dummy and we'll see. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got ten that time. Uh, and there was 24 to 36. Let's try it the third time. This will be my last research. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say 10. Because uh, that's what I counted these last two times. Two out of three ain't bad. There's a little special deal he does. Uh, something unique about Zulu that I think a lot of people overlook, he doesn't actually, you know, like, physically attack uh, the enemies. He does it through his magic, which is kind of a cool feature. But, uh, the wolf, 24 to 36, you know, primarily you're going to see 24s. Uh, 36 is kind of thrown in there. That's a nice little touch. The primary attack, though, looks like it was 17 every time. Fire it off. Oh, I see that. Yeah, we'll we'll just go with uh, 17. <laughs> I think that's a safe assumption there. But uh, let's go ahead now. Uh, again, he is cracking me up. I haven't really just looked at a character in the game and uh, thought they were kind of like super goofy like this since. But uh, let's come in here, take a look. You know what, let's just go ahead and do his story first, too. Now, as you'll see here, when we cycle the Spyro's head, we got 31 overall, and we've got 6 on the life element. That's indicated, of course, by the exclamation ribbon thingy. So, we'll select that. There's our new guy right there. That's what we want to click. Zulu's slogan is Nature Calls. 
Gonna come in here. That's a pretty sweet uh, little deal there. I think that's his tertiary attack when he rides the boar. Uh, pretty cool story here. I'll tell you what I think about it again shortly. Uh, Zulu, life element, new lander, slogan again, nature calls. Descended from a long line of shamans, Zulu traveled far and wide to the seven strange strongholds. Ancient, mysterious sites of great wonder in Skylands, where he studied the wisdom and fighting styles of these seven strange mages. After many years of traveling and studying, Zulu returned to find an army of trolls had invaded his sacred homeland to minus natural magic resources. Zulu's warrior heart burned with fury, and having now mastered the enchanted art of communicating with nature and summoning animals, he unleashed his great mojo. Uh, Any time a character's bio has Mojo mentioned, I will be a fan. Attacking the trolls and single-handedly freeing his lands once again. It was this heroic feat that caught the eye of Double Trouble, who then brought Zulu to Master Eon and the Skylanders. Okay, cool thing here, number one, Double Trouble, you know heard and found this guy which is awesome I'm a big double trouble fan number two he's got mojo uh, number three this is one of those stories that would tie in perfectly with the novel series uh, it would tie in great you know for like future levels uh, just a really cool story there and again something unique if you pay attention to him and when we go through his upgrades here in a second he actually Literally, I mean, he doesn't touch enemies. He's going to always go through like a third party, if you will. So, uh, pretty nice little feature there. Uh, we're going to come in here, go to Skyland, and take a look stronger. at stats. All right, max health, he begins at 290. Speed, 43. Armor, 18. That's pretty dadgum. God, he is cracking me up. Uh, I mean, he just... I don't know what that is, but it's pretty dadgum hilarious. Um, <laughs> uh, one thing I can say after watching that staff spin around, it would have been kind of cool if like uh, this one did that too. That would have been totally unique. Probably would have cost a ton. There he's doing that little uh, magic shot. Maybe that's the mojo. I don't know. Anyway, critical hit 6, <laughs> elemental power uh, 46. That's a plus 21 there. So. Uh, we're going to back out of there, take a look at his upgrades. This is going to be pretty neat. Uh, what he has right now, bird calls his primary attack. Press Y to summon birds that will attack nearby enemies. It was dishing out 17. Uh, secondary attack is wolf call. Press A to summon a helpful wolf ally. I would definitely say he's helpful when he's around for 10. Uh, I may, I'll come back out of here and I'll see what happens if we try to summon a second wolf. But uh, 24 to 36, about 10 attacks, you know, per wolf, so that's pretty neat. Now, the first purchased upgrade is called Piggyback Ride. It says Tertiary Attack. Press X to ride around on a wild boar, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. There is a short wait before the ability can be used again. But it's one of those things you could use this to evade enemies, to flee an area, to come in... Uh, I will actually be looking forward to this just to see if we can actually like shoot birds or wolves out. Obviously, if you can't, what I would recommend, you know, is like spawn the wolf, get on the boar, and uh, then take it from there. Second purchase upgrade is Raging Boar. Boar does increased damage. Riding a raging boar doesn't seem safe for enemies. Uh, third purchase upgrade is Swoop Reloop. Press Y to shoot birds that will seek out enemies and attack them twice before flying away. So that's kind of a perk doubling things up. You'll essentially deal 34 versus 17. Final purchased upgrade is Better Beaks. Bird attacks do increase damage. Ka, ka, ka. So uh, that'll be 17, X2, and then plus some that we don't know yet. Um, two paths here. It looks like one's going to be dedicated entirely to the boar. And the bottom one will be dedicated to the wolf. I uh, think, is it Bucking Boar? I want to say it's like Bucking Boar Path. Um, it's been a while since I introduced this guy. But it uh, begins with Rough Rider. Press X to ride around on a wild boar that kicks up damaging dust and rocks at nearby enemies. That's one of those things that's 
kind of going to be cool just to see it. I don't know how effective it'll be. Uh, second purchased upgrade, thicker pig skin. Armor is increased. Thicker skin reduces damage taken from attacks and insults. Uh, not sure. Didn't know that insults did damage in this game, but uh, it's probably just play on words there. Final upgrade down this one that addresses the tertiary attack. Hog Wild. Uh, there used to be a barbecue place in town. Hog Wild is actually really good. Uh, press X to ride around on a wild boar. After jumping off, the boar will continue to trample nearby enemies for a short time. That's actually kind of cool, and again, that'll kind of buy you a little bit of time while you wait to actually respawn the boar if you're so inclined. Bottom path, I think, was Wild Wolf, if I'm not mistaken. It begins with Alpha Wolf. Press A to summon a more powerful wolf ally that does increase damage and has more health. So, uh, Wolf was doing pretty good damage, 24 to 36. But uh, now it will actually, I guess, do more than, of course, judging by this, the wolf does have health. Uh, so while it's dealing the 24 and the 36, it would be taking damage. Now it will actually do more and be more resilient. Second purchase upgrade is Hunger of the Wolf. Each time the wolf attacks, it gains increased attack speed. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I guess it's like tasting blood, if you will. Uh, final one down the Wild Wolf Path. It's called Hunter and Gatherer. The wolf will dig up food when health is low. Such a good little pet. That's actually pretty cool. I'm assuming that would go to us and not the wolf, but either way, I guess it's beneficial. Now the Soul Gem for Zulu. Uh, we already have this one. I can't remember what chapter it was in off the top of my head, but it's called Birds of Prey. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was a live album. But uh, press Y to summon up to five birds, released to have them all swoop in on enemies, doing a devastating amount of damage so cool thing with Zulu like I said he never actually physically touches the enemies uh, instead of having the primary and secondary attacks addressed or tertiary tied in his upgrade pass bucking boar and wild wolf actually address the secondary with the wolf and the tertiary with the boar and then his soul gem comes back in and actually addresses the primary attack. So, pretty cool setup there, at least in my opinion. We're going to back out of there. Uh, we'll go to his quest now. Again, the first six really basic. Uh, defeat a thousand enemies, eat 15 fruits, uh, win 10 PvP matches. That's clearly what his time in the game and his money probably came from that one 10 PvP match. Uh, flawless Challenger. Uh, don't take damage in a non-story mode level. Totally maxed out. Big fan of this one. If you don't like Zulu from the beginning, this quest is actually going to make you get all his upgrades, get him to level 20, which means you've got to play with him, and uh, hopefully, you know, changes your mind, makes you appreciate the Skylander. This one right here, again, I really wish it wasn't tied in with the element, but I guess it's since it is elemental bonus damage, you know, it is what it is. Now, life specific begins with Defender of Life, defeat a total of 25 undead spell punks. Then we've got Fully Stocked, defeat a total of 250 enemies while at full health. And now the big one, Zulu's personal quest, is called Professional Boar Rider. Hit an enemy with the boar during 20 full length boar rides. Um. I guess all that means you just hit an enemy and you just let the boar, you don't jump off or end it early and I guess you're home free. I don't know if you can like, say you hit five enemies in one ride, I don't know if that counts towards it or only registers as one. If that's the case, you could go through say five, maybe in an arena or like a chompy pod or something, then you could just do it four times and be done with that. So if that's the case, his personal quest shouldn't be too big of a deal. We'll back out of here. I want to take you back here to the training ground. I want to actually check out the wolf. I'll try. Well, they are annoying me. I'm, I'm trying not to have the wolf eat these idiots, and they keep getting in my way. So, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to shoot the wolf off. And uh, what I'm going to do after it, I'll let it bite one time, and then I'm going to press it again and uh, see if it goes away or something. <laughs> Yes, so uh, you can only have one wolf active at a time. Box, box. Uh, 
you know, nothing major there again. And you can, just for the sake of chip, uh, shoot off the uh, so. That said, this is Zulu. Pretty cool character. Uh, gonna come right back in. We'll introduce Legendary Zulu. Uh, before I put him on the portal, I'll go ahead and back, back out so you can kind of see the characters uh, in the same location here in Woodboro. Uh, denote the differences for yourself. But uh, that's that again kind of excited about this guy. I remember when I brought him home on launch day, uh, I remember my mom said she thought he looked pretty cool, so uh, whatever that's worth to you. But uh, is a pretty unique looking character in standard form. Again, he's one of those characters. The legendary version doesn't look bad. It's just he looks really, really good in his standard form. I like what they did with the cape and everything. But I've covered all that in the unboxing, so if you want my views and opinions there, be sure to check it out. Uh, that said, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. As always, make sure to check out the blog, oneofwisdom.com. And uh, like I said, we'll be back here for part... Part 28 when we introduce Legendary Zulu.